In this video, I'm going to discuss the top bar that we can put on the top of each page of our website, our mobile websites, using Easy Mobile Site Generator. Um, let me go to this site. That I've got this test site for Enrico Pizza. Let me just explain what I mean by the top bar first of all. Let me come down to the preview screen. This is the section I mean here, this little section here. It comprises a little button which allows you to go backwards um, or to the home page if you're on the home page. If you've moved down to a menu choice, let me just do that so you can see. Let me go down to the menu. And you'll see now that I have an arrow instead of a home. And when I press that, that takes me back to the home page or back up one level. Um, yeah, maybe if I do menu. And then go to thin pizza. You see now if I go back, I go back to the menu first, then back again. So it's just like the back button on our browser. Now on an iPhone, they also have these buttons down here that they can use for the same thing. So it's not essential that you have this at the top of the screen. It just adds a little bit extra to to the screen, makes it look nicer. But it is taking up space on the screen. So when you're restricted for space, you do want to consider whether you want this included or don't want this included. You have option to include it or not include it. Now the other things you've got here are the, the name of the page that goes here, a, a button that they can press which will take them to any location you want. You can send it to their main uh, website, so not their mobile site if you want to do it. You can send it to another website, to another page on your website, whatever. I'll show you in a moment how you define what goes there and how you define what this text is here. And here we've got a little button for them to call you, so it's a little click to call button here in the top, and again that can be included or can be left off if you want to. So let's go and see how we actually set these settings here up. Um, so if I go up here, we we'll come to where it says top bar, there, and it's very simple. We just say, do we want to display at the top navigation bar? Yes or no? Ticket or don't ticket? The right button text, at the moment it says main site, and I've got it redirecting to easymobilesitegenerator.com, but that could go to anywhere. If you wanted to go to uh, another page on your website, you can just click this here, and you can find all the other pages on the website and send it direct there. So maybe, for example, instead of doing... Um, sending that to a location there, maybe what you want to do is change that and put menu and click menu and it will automatically, when they press that button now, it would take them direct to the menu page of the site. So it gives you a little way to add a shortcut to a particular part of the site. And on each page that you go to, you can override these settings so that each page can have different settings in the top navigation bar as, you, as you're going through. Now remember we had the little click to call button? That's just set by checking this box here. Display a telephone icon in top bar. If you check that, the telephone icon is displayed there. If you uncheck it, the telephone item doesn't appear there. So that's it. It's very, very simple. You check to, to make it appear. You put the text you want for the little button on the right hand side, you either redirect it to an internal page here, or you put a URL in here that you're sending it off to, and you check this box here to say whether you want the telephone icon included or not included. It's simple as that. Very, very easy to use, and that lets you put the top icon and control what goes there. 